All right, guys, so this is going to be another comic review from another book that was sent to me by my good friend Chris. And this time around, we're going to be talking about the new Fantastic Four, Hell in a Handbasket. This is, yet again, another Lost Stories uh, event, this comic from Marvel. They've been really good at it, and I might do a video talking about, like, what other Lost Eras I would like to see done at Marvel. In fact, that might be the next video. Who knows? I'm, I might keep guessing. Who knows? Anyway, so Fant new Fantastic Four, let's have some backstory on what is the new Fantastic Four. The new Fantastic Four was a quick um, story in the Fantastic Four where um, a scroll named Lija um, seemingly killed the Fantastic Four and, and well, she didn't. She just kind of stunned them all and made it look like they were dead um, and pretending to be the Invisible Woman and basically brought together Ghost Rider, Spider-Man, Wolverine, and the Hulk, specifically Joe Fixit Hulk, um, and uh, together for a scheme in, that involved the Mole Man and monsters. It was a great story by Peter David and Art Adams. Um, it's a fun. It was a fun mini series. It was a fun quick series that kind of poked fun at itself of how dumb it was, and also featuring four, Marvel's four most top uh, four at the time four best selling characters together. It's a fun, dumb story, because at the time, Fantastic Four wasn't great. This era of Fantastic Four wasn't fantastic. Um, but this was a fun story, and it's kind of fun. It's kind of cool to see Peter David once again doing another miniseries um, with, a char with these characters. So this story takes place after the events of the, of the new Fantastic Four storyline, and this character named John Priest, who is a priest, yes, they make that joke, um is like, man, it would be really cool to meet them, but I've got my own problems. And has run into the demon Asmodeus, who's taking over, um, who is basically taking over um, the underground, like the under like underground vagrant uh, group. And John basically, through, it, through machinations, has brought together all the characters to Vegas. Hulk already being there, already working for, my, for Boss Borghetti, as we talked about in the Joe Fix-It run. So, Wolverine, Ghost Rider, and Spider-Man all go um, convene with the Hulk in um, Las Vegas, leading to finding out that it's another planets align kind of story. I also like that it really does feel like Peter David does not give a fuck. Like, it's it's very clear there's a very I don't give a fuck, this is a job kind of comic. Because, like, it... it um, and I'm saying that's bad. Peter David does really good in here, but it really does feel like uh, David... Um, especially towards the end where it has like this big boss and how they beat it um, which is very anticlimactic and but it's very much like eh, it's a job like it really does feel like yeah I'm, uh, I'm I'm doing a job here but that's the thing um there is some fun to be had here like it I really love that there's some really fun jokes in here like dr strange busting in on um mr fantastic and uh, you know reed and sue as they're about to do it and and fan and later when mr Fanta when the rest of the fantastic four and the new fantastic con four convene to battle a giant demon at the end uh <laughs> reed's only reaction is huh i'm gonna have to apologize to dr strange when this is over and and uh sue's like yes obviously that's the only thing that was the problem <laughs> So I do like there are some fun jokes here. Um, I also love the fact that like there's a moment where like Spider-Man is battling Vulture and he's like, "Dude, what the hell are you doing? I'm going to my colonoscopy." And he's like, "Yeah, you are. I bet you are saying that." And, he, and Vulture's like, "No, this was just, I'm not doing anything. Shut up." So this comic does not take it like it's very obvious. This comic doesn't take itself seriously. The character of John Priest is all right. It's revealed that he does have like some kind of magic um, reality warping ability where he gets to wish at something and it comes true to an extent and it also turns out he's the son of Mephisto it's uh, yeah he's like the Mephisto is just like hey what's up I'm here Woo -hoo. Um, the comic really doesn't have much of a plot it's just hey let's do the new Fantastic Four again and not take itself seriously because that comic didn't take itself seriously. So I do appreciate that. I also really love the artwork by... Ugh, I gotta pull up the name. Uh, Alan Robinson um, with colors by Mike Spicer. Look at that. More artists I can actually pronounce the names of. I don't, I won't feel bad about... I don't feel bad about butchering them. But yeah, it re those two together really... Uh, Robinson and Spicer really make um, a good duo of really emulating Art Adams' artwork. 
which it would have been cool to see Art Adams um, back on this book. It would have been really cool to see David and and uh, David and Adams work together on this book, um, which kind of sucks because he's. I think um, Art Adams is like the king. If you want to do a cool monster art, like God, like he did it for Godzilla and for Dark Horse. He um, he did, of course, the new Fantastic Four. And he's very notorious for doing really good monster art. He's like the king of monster art, and he's been really cool here. But the artists that we do get here, I think they're, I think they're decent enough. All in all, another harmless lost stories. I really enjoy these, and I'm o I'm always curious to see what else is next. I do want to, like I said, I do want to read that Ben Riley Spider-Man one, especially since it's apparently, um, it really does feel like a big fuck you to Marvel for what they did, what they did to Ben Riley, and it was coming out right when the whole Chasm thing was coming out. Um, I also want to, I want to get some trade, I want to read that Daredevil Dark Armor. Like, when he had that 90s armor, um, I want to read that era. Again, that'd be really cool, um, when it comes to miniseries. But yeah. So there you go, guys. That is pretty much my review for, uh, New Fantastic Four, Hell in a Hand Basket. And, uh, once again, I'd like to thank my good friend Chris for sending me this book. Other than that, hope you all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the multiverse.